do you think that the leadership qualities that i in you lack something hello there i'm dilika b mukherjee your personality development master and today's topic is the leadership quality that you should inculcate in yourself to upgrade your persona in turn to upgrade the personality of your organization talking about leadership today i'm coming up with four to five pointers in which i'll be telling you about what all things that are there you should be inculcating whereas there are certain things that you should always overlook or you should not be keeping in you if you have certain qualities which are not fit for you as a leader okay so the first things first we should always keep growing keep a target that you are always in a growing mindset keep a growth mindset you know what if you are keeping yourself in an stagnation uh, mindset what happens is you are not growing when you are not growing how can you expect the team members who are following you to grow therefore it is always advisable to look up to your mentor always invest in yourself as i had already told you in one of my uh, videos that instead of you know buying gold and things like that invest in educating yourself it is not that you are you are a graduate or you are an msc or whatever it is one needs to upgrade themselves if i talk about myself i keep on upgrading myself it's not just because i want to uh do more and more in my life but it is also because i want to upgrade as a human being okay so keep in touch with your mentors because they are the ones who will be helping you guiding you all through the process the second pointer is be a contributor what happens have you ever wondered if you come across a person when you tell the person about the issues that you are facing problems you are facing does the person come up with um uh, a negative version or a negative statement this is where you have to behave like a leader when a leader is you know when as a leader you are come up, coming across with certain issues don't come up and start blaming your team members instead solve the issues or your target should be to solve the problem and not to find faults in the team members what happens is it's easier to find faults find the faults but keep it to yourself and you have to solve the issue that is pertaining in front of you okay look for solutions instead of the problem before i come up with the third point i would like to tell you that this video is going to be in uh, in parts this is going to be the first part and i'm going to come up with the second part of it as well and the second part will carry the don'ts and this is the do's that you are going to practice now the third pointer is you should set boundaries now what is that you should know when to draw a line you should know how and when you should be politely and firmly saying a no to your team members i mean you don't have to be everything to everyone all the time and that's okay a leader has to handle many things and you have to handle it firmly so start drawing boundaries with that i come to an end of this episode do like share subscribe comment and thank you so much for your support that i could come this far so i'll be waiting for your comments it's been long i have read um the comment of my new subscribers so i am waiting what more do you want me to take up as new topics so in my next episode i'll be coming up with the second uh, part of this uh, leadership topic so tune in in that very soon i'm going to come with that topic
Bye-bye. Take care.